Have you guys worked? I'll, I'll ask Jeff first. Have you guys worked together uh, before? Is this a, a new collaboration? Yeah, actually, we both had separate careers before. I mean, most of my stuff has been done in the horror world, and most of his has been done in like family entertainment and comedy. And Curses was kind of our way. We've been friends for a long time. Our kids went to the same elementary school and we would walk back talking about writing. And this was our first foray to like, hey, let's combine our, our worlds into something spooky, scary that everyone can watch. And it's funny and entertaining for kids. Uh, Jim, when you were growing up, were you a fan of things like, you know, Scooby-Doo and, and uh, horror, horror cartoons like that, Ghostbusters? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean... It's so funny. That was the thing. Jeff and I were like, what we wanted to do is kind of, A, make a show that we would have wanted to see as kids, but then B, watching a lot of our kids' shows with them as an adult, you're like, I would also like to see as an adult. So we very much were inspired by like Scooby-Doo, but also like the, the Steven Spielberg movies of the early 80s, like Poltergeist, you, you know, and like things like Gremlins, we were like, am I able to see this? You know, and it, it seemed like the challenge. Well, the series is is, is certainly very family friendly, uh, you know, and it deals with family and it deals relying on each other. Uh, Jeff, you spent some time here in Utah. Um, are, I mean, is is that what you brought to it? You know, the, those kind of family value type fun things? Oh, yeah. I, I grew up in Utah. I, I went to the University of Utah. So, I mean, it's one of those things where uh, Coop and I... Um, you know, I like I said earlier, I come from horror world. He comes from family entertainment. The one thing that really connected us was we are both kind of just dads at heart. We're both just family guys. <laughs> and so we knew that regardless if it was going to be scary, funny, anything, it was always going to have that core of family. It was just kind of like what I grew up with, what he grew up with in Orange County. We both were just very family oriented. So we really that was really important to us to have a show that had that at the core. Uh, Jim, the series gets into is, you know, it gets into a, a, a series of, of curses um was was writing this particularly hard no what was what was interesting is we always wanted to like think of every different curse as a different like how how to do it different okay we we solved it th this way let's do it different this time so it was actually kind of like a series of puzzles mm -hmm. where you're like what would cause a curse what could end it it can't just be returning something it's got to be what caused it and so that mm -hmm. was actually really thrilling and you know we researched so many different cultures so many different things that in itself was fascinating like we, we'd we'd win at trivial pursuit easily now <laughs> uh, very good jeff what do you think audiences are going to take away from watching curses well honestly i mean me personally because i'm a horror guy i actually want to bring some scares to some younger kids because a lot of times uh, people want to just carefully treat kids and oh be careful they're okay no ca kids can actually accept some scares and in fact I think that scares are good for kids because it helps build their self-confidence I mean once they realize that they could watch something scary and they're like oh I can get they can bring that to their real life so I actually do want some kids to realize that they can overcome some fears through some scares well, you guys, it's 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 a terrific series, and and Apple TV Plus is the perfect place for it. Um, I, I want to congratulate you again, and thank you for the time. And hopefully, we'll run into each other here uh, in Utah or in LA. I'd I'd love to grab a cup of Joe with you sometime. Absolutely, and great. Right. You guys take care.